Now to an historic inferno in Miami, the worst the city has seen in 25 years. The smoke visible for miles. Dozens of residents had to be rescued. Firefighters also finding a maintenance worker shot on the scene. Tonight, police have a man in custody. We have live team coverage from the victim to the displaced residents. We begin with Christian Delarosa with the very latest. Christian. Nicole Calvin, what we saw out here, this firefight was stunning. It was just absolutely incredible to see how intense this was. These firefighters, complete heroes. And to put it in perspective, this fire started today, shortly after eight o'clock this morning. They are still putting out hot spots. New details now emerging from the scene of this massive blaze forcing a massive response. Uh, this is a very old structure, 1920s uh, building. It's possible that there was some accelerant. Over 100 firefighters battling the flames from multiple angles. The fire ripping through the Temple Court Apartments on Northwest 4th Street in downtown Miami Monday, where authorities also found a man who was shot. We have the suspect who fired the gun in custody and who we suspect intentionally started the fire. The fire fight taking eight hours for firefighters to contain the out of control inferno. First responders rushing to evacuate dozens of residents. This is a heavily elderly population. The flaming heat and dark smoke overwhelming for at least three firefighters who needed medical attention. One of them transported to a nearby hospital to be evaluated. Police now trying to find the motive behind this disaster. We are hearing that there was some sort of an altercation that which led up to a shooting. And those three firefighters that ended needing medical attention, we're told they're gonna be okay. The man who was shot here, we're told is still at the hospital, still, still in critical but stable condition. That suspect is still being questioned, we're told at this hour. It is absolutely incredible. No, that no one here was seriously hurt. Live in downtown Miami, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. And that is the best news. Christian, thank you. Our team covers.